Okay. People versus Philip Sumpner, appearance on behalf of the people. Good afternoon, Your Honor. My name is John Skreski. I'm here for the people. Yeah, I'm Polanco for the people. And on behalf of the defendant. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Melissa Krauskopf on behalf of Mr. Sumpner. He's present here to my right in the courtroom. Okay, so today is the date and time set for a probable cause conference. Um, I think we have an exam date for March 14th, correct? We do, Your Honor, yes. Okay, so what is what are we doing here today? Your Honor, I believe we're just continuing that exam date. Um, I had asked for an additional PCC in this case because when we were here for the last PCC, um, we were over Zoom. Mr. Sumter was in an area of the jail where it was difficult for him to, I, I think, hear all of the proceedings that were happening. Um, and so I just asked for another PCC so that he could be sure that he was here, hearing everything that was happening in the courtroom, um, that there was nothing happening without him knowing about it, and that we do have an exam date and we will be ready to go on that exam date. Okay. Do you need any additional discovery? Is there anything you're... I don't believe so. Um, there was some additional discovery that was tendered to me um, by Mr. Barlog, I think as sort of developments are happening, I'm being kept apprised of that. But as far as I know right now, no, there's nothing outstanding. Okay. Anything on behalf of the people? No, Your Honor. Okay, is there anything specifically that Mr. Sumpner wants addressed by the court today? To my knowledge, no, um, but I will leave that to him. Understand. Okay, so the matter will be no. heard. I'm I'm, saying I do not understand okay, what, what's going on. Okay, so you understand you were charged with an offense. I'm not asking if you agree. I'm telling you that you are charged. You're presumed I'm innocent. I'm not consent to that. I'm not in that. Governor, if I, if I may, yeah. um, I've explained to Mr. Sumter, and I actually believe I said it just the same way the court did, um, numerous times that the people have brought charges against him in this case, that they are merely allegations at this point, that he is absolutely free to disagree with them, which is why I'm here. And that's why we're set for an exam. Um, and then depending on what happens with the exam, ultimately go to trial. Um, I understand that he is upset about having been charged and that he vehemently disagrees with the charges against him. I believe that he understands them. I don't believe that there's a competency issue. I just think he simply disagrees with them, which is fine. That's why we're here. She can't. Sorry, ma'am. She cannot speak for me and what I disagree with. Okay, tell me. But what I'm saying is that I do not consent to violence on UCC 31308. I do not consent to none of this because I've done nothing wrong. And by me seeing that the discovery that I see now, as far as um, I don't want her to be my lawyer. Okay. First of all, let me say this. UCC no, has nothing to do with this. Okay, go ahead. I can't. I mean, I don't know. Go ahead. I'm because listening. The reason why I'm saying this is that because I wrote to her and I told her, for the court, please be advised, please be on notice, my birth certificate, live birth, and to present by the officer of the court. I am here on special appearance. Let the record show that I fully reserve all my rights per UCC 3 and do not consent. I do not answer to the name. I am not that person. I am the beneficiary and I deserve all my rights per UCC 3 weight. I give no address for name, materials, call me beneficiary in this matter. And I do not understand this matter because the reason why I don't understand this matter is because I've been illegally charged, been illegally trained for three months, I bind no common law with this admiralty, maritime, etc. I cannot compel to perform. I'm a living soul and I'm a distance to the snake. Not only that, once again, I'm a living soul. I do not consider I explain these lies of a murderer, Donnell Larry, who told all these lies. I never entered any kind of contract with Donnell Larry. With all due respect, a master cannot be free to go. 
If you say I'm not free to go, I submit my birth certificate for who I am. I'm not a, none of these people. You keep putting, you put my name as this, you put my name as that. And I'm asking that all these charges against me be dismissed. Well, that's or what I'm my... not trying, and this is fraud. I've seen it. As I read all these, these statements against me, here's my live birth. I am a living soul. Have not charged me as a living soul in this courtroom. Not only that, please, no disrespect to the court or nothing. I've seen the partial of partial of the um, discovery. Half pages missing. All of that. You put me in the gangster disciples. <laughs> all this other stuff. This is not me. So, I do have a problem. I do not consent to none of this. I don't. So in a criminal charge, it's not whether you consent or not, it's whether the no. people charge. And if you are correct that you did nothing wrong, that is why I am holding a hearing on March 15th. Um, I suspect that you are suggesting that you are a sovereign citizen and not subject to the jurisdiction of this court, and I will respectfully disagree with you because you have indicated that you are registered and have registered yourself under the UCC, which is a federal law. So you acknowledge that the federal government exists and you can't pick and choose which laws you choose to avail yourself of. So if you're acknowledging that the UCC exists and that you are utilizing the benefits of that, then you have waived any objection that I believe you may have in reference to this court, this court's jurisdiction. On the other hand, if you or Philip Sumpner or someone who is not you named Philip Sumpner or you with a different name did not do anything, then at the time of the exam, I will dismiss the case. You do not have to disprove anything. They have the burden of showing that you committed a crime. If they can't show it because you're saying it's not you and you didn't do anything, then I will dismiss the case. I don't know anything beyond that. So I'm advising you again that we will be back here on March 14th for the preliminary exam where the prosecution has to show that you, whoever you may be, committed an offense. I don't have to have it beyond a reasonable doubt. Their burden is showing that it is more likely than not that you committed this offense, but there is enough evidence to send this matter to circuit court for trial. So this is the opportunity you're asking for. If they made a mistake, they're not going to get to take you to trial. So that's what we're doing on the 14th to see if they can prove who they think or if they can prove that you did what they think you did. If that's not true, I will dismiss the case. In reference to your attorney, that's a separate matter. You need to... Um, write a letter to the court and advise me that there's an issue and then I have to go through circuit court. But I don't have the right to appoint an attorney for you because this is a felony case. But I can advise, I am only, the court appointed attorney comes out of circuit court. I don't understand. Okay. You're charged with a felony. Ma'am, yeah. I do not understand. Okay. I'm telling you, if you want a new attorney, you have to write me a letter. Who has the right? You. The court. We need to write the court a letter. We need to write Judge Apple a letter. I don't understand. Okay, then I guess you won't accomplish what you want if you choose not to understand. Okay. I think we're all set for today, unless there's anything else.